Coming back to the monastery, uh, I had a lady who was very ill with cancer. She rang up from the hotel here in New Norcia and she said, I need to talk to a priest. And I said, well, actually, I'm a priest, so I, <laughs> I could go looking for another one, but uh, uh, I, I actually am a priest, so I, 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 I'm available. So uh, she came down, she had her son, who was a barrister, and he sat there, and this lady told me how she had raised her family on her own, a single mother. The husband had left her years before, and she wanted very much to uh, grow old with her family and seeing her grandchildren, but the doctor had told her she was dying of cancer. And she felt very bitter, and she felt it was so unfair because she'd always done her duty. She had raised the children in the love of God, and she felt it was just so bad, such a bad turn of events, and she felt so unhappy and, and hard done by. So I just sat there listening to her and watching her until she finished talking, and then she just sat there looking at me, as if to say, now it's your turn, say something, for goodness sake, say something. So I said to her, if I say something to, to you now, you're going to think that I have two heads. But I said, I assure you, <laughs> I've, only, <laughs> I've only got one head. But what I have to say to you works. It works. I'm not going to tell you how it works. I'm not going to say anything about it, but I only want to say that it works. And if you do it, something good will happen for you. I'm not saying, I'm not going to tell God what to do. I say, I, I wouldn't be like those people who read uh, on the internet that something is good for them and go along and see their doctor and say, uh, so doctor, I read this on the internet, would you be so nice and kind as to write me out a prescription for it? And he tells me to get out, to go and get a prescription off the internet. So um, here I am then, I, I want to tell you that I want you to praise Jesus for your cancer. I said, don't tell me how mad it sounds. I said, just do it. Praise him. I reminded myself of what my brother had said. He said, what sort of a God is it that wants to be praised all the time? And I said, Robbie, praise doesn't change God. It, it changes the one who praises him. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. So I said to this lady, I want you to praise Jesus for your cancer and thank him for his perfect plan for you. I said, now I'll give you a little booklet I've written on it and I want you to take it and study it. I said, I haven't given any examples of how it works. I've just given you the teaching and I've added a few bits and pieces to it. It's teaching based on one Merlin Carruthers. Uh, but I've enlarged on it in various ways, but I want to acknowledge uh, the ownership of the idea uh, found in the scriptures by Merlin Carruthers, I think he's uniting church. Wonderful man. So the lady got up and took the paper and left. The doctor had given her six months. Now, you're going to expect me to say something like, she was healed, but she wasn't healed. Three months later, the son rang me up and he said, she died last night. He said, but I want to tell you that those three months since she left New Norcia became the happiest 
three months of her entire life. She became a changed woman. She was transformed. She became so much in love with Jesus and she was just longing to see his face. And so she died in great peace and she inspired the whole family. And so Father, he said, I want to ask you, the family would love you if you would come to her funeral. So I went to her funeral with great joy and since I'm blind, I, not totally, but I have only peripheral vision, I couldn't do much, I, but I said Mass with the African priest who was saying the Mass and I was able to bless the coffin with holy water. So there it is. Um, that's, that's another example of the way praise and thanks works. You're entering into the plan of God. You're entering into the very nature of God. You're becoming absorbed in God. Praise and thanks uh, releases the love of God in your life, the, the goodness, the holiness of God. Somebody said to me one day, what about that earthquake that happened in, in such and such a country? How could you praise God for that? And I said, well, I said, you've got to remember that Jesus talked about the prince of this world. There is an evil spirit who goes around doing bad things, uh, organising horrifying things, and the, the presence of Jesus in the world since uh, his life, death and resurrection, the presence of Jesus has been a gradual takeover of one area after another, up with many ups and downs when people follow Jesus, then they don't follow Jesus and bad things happen and all sorts of things happen. I said, but it's most important to remember that by praising Jesus for the earthquake, we are putting Jesus into the situation because Jesus lives in the praise. God lives in the praises of Israel. So by putting him into it, we are getting help for the people that have been uh, hurt and broken in the disaster. We are, uh, we are caring for the people who are, have lost family, lost all their means, and so forth. So praise and thanks is a most wonderful thing.